how would I define an agile organization? Okay. Um, contrary to what some would say, they would say it has nothing to do with agile. Um, an agile organization, if we step back and we think about it and use the word agile correctly, okay, I'm looking for one that is nimble, that is responsive, that is able to adapt. And that means we've got a company that can turn as quickly, ideally quicker, than the market conditions and the, the climate it's within. So a truly agile company is one that is set up for change. They don't have change initiatives. Their whole being is one of change. So a competitor releases a product and it's better than theirs. So they have the ability before that competitor releases a new version to have got likely several versions out of the door. So they've released a similar thing and then they've taken feedback and they've released another one and another one and another one. Okay. An agile organization is always going to be one that closes that feedback loop as quickly as humanly possible. Okay. I'm a big fan of the models we use around this. So one of them is the OODA loop and I can never remember the guy's name who came up with it. He was a US Air Force pilot and he, he came up with this simple model and he challenged other pilots so that he could beat them in a dogfight. And he did every time. And when he explained how he did it, it was a very simple four-step process called UDA. Orient. Pay attention to where you are. You know, what's up, what's down, where's the land, where's the other person? Observe. What's happening around you? Okay. Decide. Based on the observations, what are you going to do? And act. Do it. Okay. And once you finish the doing, we're back to orient, reorientate yourself, observe again, decide what to do again, and act again. This is the hallmark of agility. Okay. It doesn't matter what you're doing for a living. It doesn't matter if you're an organization, a team, or a person. Okay. The ability to work out what is a good course of action given where we are today, and then taking that course quickly and simply, and then looking around again, okay, we've done a thing. The world around us has changed. What do we do now? Okay. And driving this conversation at all levels means that you're going to have an agile organization. Scrum and Kanban and all that are not important to this. So if you can find a way that doesn't use that stuff, yet still delivers true agility in your business, it's good for you. Share it with the world because it might be better than what we've already got. It might not. It might just work for you, but that's good. Uh -huh. Now, if your organization isn't there, then the scrums and the Kanbans and the lesses and, dare I say, even the safes of the world can help you on your journey towards that. But each organization for true agility is going to work out its own way because each organization has a different context. It has a different goal. It has different strategies to play around. Okay? But an agile organization is always going to be one that closes that feedback loop quickly so that it can decide what to do again and again and again.